good morning students how are you all i hope you all will be fine students today we are going to learn about seed bearing plants seed bearing plants are of two types gymnosperms and angiosperms now first one is gymnosperms gymnosperms are seed bearing plants that are non flowering their seeds are not enclosed in fruits their seeds are exposed to the air they have well developed roots stems and leaves they have fine needle like leaves as you can see in this picture the gymnosperms have needle like leaves they produce seeds in special structures called cones this is the picture of cycas plant they have needle like leaves and they have cones second class of seed bearing plants are angiosperms angiosperms are seed bearing flowering plants angiosperms have seeds that are enclosed in fruits and they have well developed roots stems and leaves the angiosperms are divided into two class monocotyledons and dicotyledons in monocotyledonous plants the floral parts are usually arranged in group of 3 while in dicotyledonous plants the floral parts are usually arranged in groups of 4 or 5 in monocotyledonous plants the leaves have veins that are running parallel to one and other while the dicotyledonous plants have veins arranged in branched network you can see in this picture the parallel veins and branched or netted veins the monocotyledonous plants produce seeds with one seed leaf here you can see the picture of wheat grains and maize grains they have one seed leaves means their seed cannot be divided into two equal parts the dicotyledonous plants have two seed leaves means their seed can be divided into two equal parts this is the picture of bean seed and you can see that bean seed can be divided into two equal parts while the maize plant it have one seed leaves and it can't be divided into two equal parts means it just have one seed leaf so that's why maize seed is called monocotyledon